So this is absolutely everything that I will carry with me on the Continental Divide Trail. Complete gear layout. Um, I guess I will start with my sleep system. Um, I will be using a uh, Marmot Plasma 15 with a compression sack right there. It's the same one I used on the Pacific Crest Trail and the Colorado Trail and the Tahoe Rim Trail. Um, my sleeping pad. I'm using the REI flash pad. I'd like one that's a little bit thicker, but I like how easy this one is to blow up. It blows up super quick, especially if you use the XPED schnozzle. Um, I'll maybe show you how that works later on, but uh, these two pair really well together. I used that schnozzle of the first time on the Colorado Trail. Absolutely loved it. The tent I'll be using is the Big Agnes, Big Agnes Fly Creek 2. Uh, this is a brand new one. I have actually never even set this one up. I will before I leave, but uh, the same tent, just a brand new version of it. I have a piece of Tyvek that I can ride on for road signs, uh, for like hitching a ride into town, and just nice to have it as an extra ground cloth. Um, continuing on with my sleep system though, I have this, it is a bag liner. Um, I won't need it the entire time, but I do try to use it just to keep my bag clean. Um, since I won't be able to be bathing every day, having a bag liner is a little easier to wash than the sleeping bag. Also, it'll add about 10 degrees to my sleep system overall. Um, I just like being comfortable when I sleep. I'm willing to carry the extra weight. Um, I carry a Sea to Summit uh, pillow. Blows up super easy. Absolutely love it. Um, it's worth the little bit of weight that it costs me. Um, I think that is my complete sleep system. I guess for my cook system, I'll be carrying Jet Boil. Um, this is the first through hike that I'll be carrying a large fuel canister on. Uh, I just don't like having to switch out the little ones again and again and again and again. I'd just rather have a large, reliable one. I'll have uh, the same bowl that I've used for all my through hikes, except for the Arizona Trail. Uh, kitchen sink, basically this thing expands out and I can do my laundry in this by a river or I can even get a shower with this. I like to carry an ultra lightweight towel so that I can dry off after uh, bathing on trail. I'll probably actually have four smart water bottles. Uh, they weigh almost nothing, but I'll probably carry a capacity of four. Either that or I'll carry the two and then I'll get a platypus bag. Um, haven't quite decided, but probably stick with the smart water bottles. I like these better. Started carrying this as I've been training on the uh, in the Grand Canyon. It's nice just to be able to roll it around on, underneath my foot uh, while I'm having lunch. Makes a big difference. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really weigh anything. Takes up some space and I don't know. It's nice. I think it's worth having. Uh, my filtration system, I'm going to be carrying, once again, the Sawyer Flow. Um, I do, however, have, and I'll talk about it later, uh, some Aguamira, uh, just for this New Mexico portion. I want to be able to double filter. I don't want to get sick on trail. Um, yeah, Sawyer Squeeze system, uh, or Sawyer, Sawyer Flow system, goes a little bit, bit faster than the squeeze. Toiletry kit and the things, uh, everything fits into here, the trowel, toilet paper, and hand sanitizer. Uh, that little bag right there, I just keep all my sleep stuff organized in there. Some people don't use the stuff sacks. I really like being organized. Everything gets organized into that bag right there that I'll talk a little bit about later. Um, for my clothes, I guess my rain system, I've got the Mont Bell rain pants, same ones I used on PCT and Colorado Trail. I use them in the morning to stay warm with, and they're great rain pants overall. They do, however, tend to rip down here. I know they're not going to last the whole trail. We'll see what I'll do about that. Mont Bell rain jacket, absolutely love it. Weighs very little, really, really reliable jacket. Do kind of wish that my rain system had a uh, little bit brighter colors though, makes me disappear. Uh, just a lightweight, little tiny umbrella. This thing was a lifesaver on the Colorado Trail and it's one of my favorite pieces of equipment overall. Um, not even a brand name one, just a little one that keeps the rain off me. These things, I'll be real with you, I actually don't like. Uh, they're just ultra light uh, glove liners to be, they're waterproof, but very, very little dexterity when I have them on. So if I can avoid, I just keep them off altogether. All my rain stuff goes into that stuff sack there. A part where I hope, I don't know, maybe some people will criticize me for, one shirt, two shirts, three shirts. Uh, most people on through hikes, they'll carry one, maybe two, but I like a third one for a town shirt. Um, these are my two main ones that I'll be wearing on trail though. Uh, you could say even four shirts, but this is more of just a thermal layer. Um, I've worn it, I think, ever since the Arizona Trail. Definitely had it a lot on the PCT. Um, 
I do carry a pair of underwear. I carry one, two, three pairs of wool socks. I carry right now smart wool. Uh, are they? Yes, yeah, smart wool. They, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Darn tough. Darn tough. Those are the ones that have the lifetime warranty. Smart wool only has a one year warranty. Stuff sacks that I put my clothes in, just brightly colored so I can easily see what is where when I'm look, digging around in my bag. The shoes I'll carry, once again, as always, Solomon XA Pro 3D, size 11 and a half, seaweed green, I hate the color, uh, but whatever, the uh, super feet insoles as well as arch supports. I'll probably go through somewhere between five and seven pairs of those on trail. I'll be starting with a brand new pair though, unlike I did on the uh, PCT. Pair of long underwear uh, thermals just to stay warm. One and two pair of running shorts. I like to be able to, I really like being clean on trail. That's all, that's the best I can explain. So I like to be able to wear them like every other day and then wash the dirty pair the day that I'm wearing these and vice versa. Uh, Ghost Whisper down jacket, same thing that I've worn ever since the Pacific Crest Trail. Love that thing, it compresses down to weigh nothing. Um, a ball cap that I've worn for several through hikes. Love that ball cap, really lightweight. Um, I just like it, it's kind of become part of my have to have outfit. Um, Little tiny gloves. These are, uh, they're just like glove liners, but they'll be what I use most of the time. Uh, and then if I need to, I have those shells over there that I can wear over the top of them to keep these waterproof because when these get wet, they are useless. Sunglasses, pair of Oakleys, and a sunglasses case to keep them in. These are my food bags right now. Um, I usually keep my meals in here and then my snacks in here. I'll be changing that, uh, especially when I get into bear country. Um, uh, I've been lucky so far not having rodents get into my stuff, but um, I'll be using something like that. Uh, for my backpack, I have the, um, what do you even call it? Uh, the Hyperlite Mountain Gear uh, Wind Rider, I think, 3400. Don't quote me on that, but uh, the one that does not have the mesh back on it. Love this backpack, used it on the Colorado Trail. Excited to use it on the Continental Divide Trail. Uh, my complaint about it is, I wish it had an access point underneath because I like to keep my sleep stuff, stuff in here. Can make packing a little bit of a pain, but I'm getting used to it. And then if we run over here to the unnecessary stuff, it is 2019 after all, we gotta have electronics. Um, that is just what it is. Um, I guess you don't have to, but I opt to carry them. Two uh, 10,000 milliamp or whatever batteries. Uh, this is more than enough, but I don't wanna worry about having to keep my stuff charged. This is the case I'll have on my phone. This is a wireless keyboard that I used on the Colorado Trail. Doesn't weigh too much, really efficient. Keeps a charge, they kept me all the way through 500 miles. Love this thing. The bag I keep my electronics in. This is a tripod, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it does a uh, panoramic spin, uh, time-lapse spin. It's a little heavy, but I really like the shots that I got on the Colorado Trail with that. Um, Two chargers, not very efficient, but I couldn't find one that was exactly what fit my needs, so I got two. Um, a, um, I don't even know how to explain it, uh, a, a clip for my GoPro. So I can clip this on to do first person shots and do a couple of other tricky shots. GoPro Hero 7 Black, love this thing. Um, it's really amazing what they've crammed into that little package. Extra battery card for it, pair of headphones, um, two uh, micro USB cables, Oh, I'll be carrying this watch. Uh, I carried it on the Colorado Trail. Um, I'll be carrying it again on the Continental Divide Trail. This is the charging cable for that watch. It holds a battery. Uh, I like to keep track the whole day, so it's uh, it's actively GPS tracking me all day long. Uh, that eats up the battery, but I can get a whole day out of it, and it can probably recharge off one of those 100 times if I need to. Um, GoPro charger, iPhone charger. <sighs> I've got a lot to say about this thing. I might talk about it later. I don't want to carry it, but I'm probably going to start the trail with it. This here is a new microphone that I just got. It's a little more expensive than I wanted to get and I'm not quite sure if I'll bring it. Um, I'm thinking actually the quality of the iPhone itself might even be better in some situations. Um, so we'll see, I may or may not carry that microphone. All those electronics right there, those fit into that little bag and get compartmentalized accordingly. And then lastly, not leastly, every through hiker has to have a ditty bag. This is my ditty bag. The only piece of equipment that I have carried with me on the Arizona Trail, the PCT, the TRT, and the Colorado Trail is this little pocket knife. And it gets lost in my bag so easily, so I had to tie a little green string on it to keep track of it. Dirty spoon, this is gross, I really need to wash this, but long-handled spoon. 
Uh, must have if you're gonna through hike. Um, must have Sharpie so that I can write on that piece of Tyvek over there, um, which town I'm going to and whatnot. Also, just nice to have some writing uh, utensils. Uh, my water treatment, like I said, I'm gonna carry Aguamira. I've never used it before, but I want to be able to double treat some of the water sources, especially in New Mexico. I may end up sending it home if I'm not using it much. Sunblock, I don't wanna get cancer. That's all I have to say about that. Um, soap, Dr. Bronner's, like to stay clean if it's possible. I can uh, clean myself, my hair, and my laundry with this. Some people use it for toothpaste. They're out of their minds, but all the power to you. Bug dope, carry it whether you need it or not. If you have it, you won't need it. If you don't have it, you will need it. Carry bug dope. Patch kit with a sewing kit in there, just for little tiny patches. I almost never use it, but I always have it. Be safe. Extra lighter, little tiny big one, uh, the pink ones. You know if somebody steals your lighter because they're the ones walking around with the little pink ones. So I always get a little pink lighter. Uh, try to carry two of them. Uh, toothpaste, toothbrush. I'm not cutting my toothbrush in half. I don't really care about that extra weight. Always carry lip balm. Also, I'm gonna have a, another chapstick uh, tube as well with me at all times that is sunproof or a sunblock. Uh, some Advil I'll carry at all times. This will be my wallet I'll carry at all times. Backup batteries for my black diamond headlamp. Uh, I have never actually used these earplugs on trail, but have had times when I didn't have them that I wish I had, so there's that. Uh, they don't weigh much, it's just worth having overall. Uh, these two things, totally unnecessary, I bet I'm the only through hiker who carries it, but eucalyptus oil is the little one, and then it's like a lemongrass peppermint extract oil in this one. If I'm ever feeling down, I can just like rub this on my hands, take a big giant whiff of it, and it, I don't know, it just lifts my mood, makes me feel better. Um, also, if I'm trying to get a ride into town, I'll rub it all over myself so I smell like eucalyptus oil rather than smelling like a through hiker um, I'm totally not kidding about that. Um, duct tape, that's my first aid kit. That's all I have to say about that. Little tiny hand towel just for washing myself. Extra rope, I've used it. Actually, I used it to repair a hiking pole one time, or I'm sorry, a tent pole one time. Always worth having. This is my workout kit. I might explain more about that when I'm on trail. Um, and then everything fits into my ditty bag. That is what I will be carrying on the Continental Divide Trail.